ideas are not protected by words. Paper and ink may outline the foundation and principles of this nation, but it is blood, only blood, that protects it. I'm sorry you have never smelled the breath of a man who wants to kill you. I'm sorry you've never felt the alarm bells ringing in your body, the combination of fear and adrenaline as you move towards the fight instead of running from it. I'm sorry you've never heard someone cry out for help or cried out for help yourself, relying on the courage of others to bring you home. I'm sorry you've never tasted the salt from your own tears as you stand at flag-draped coffins burying men you were humbled to call your friends. I don't wish those experiences on you, but I do wish you had them. If you had them, it would change the way you act. It would change the way you value. It would change the way you appreciate. You would become quick to open your eyes and slow to open your mouth. Most will never understand the sacrifice required to keep evil men like those from that distant compound away from our doorstep. Saying thank you is not enough. You have to live it. It would not hurt you to take a moment to think of the relentless drain on family, friends, and loved ones that are left behind. Sometimes for weeks, sometimes for months, sometimes for years, sometimes forever. If you want to respect and honor their sacrifice, it needs to be more than words. Take a minute and look around. Soak it in. All of it. The good, the bad, and the ugly. You have that choice because the best among us fought and bled and died for it. Don't ever forget that. <laughs>